are we talking about shopping carts here? Yeah. Now, do you, when you go grocery shopping, mm-hmm. do you return the cart all the time? Actually, I'm the, type, I'm the type that gets into the store, thinks of the things that I need to pick up and say, mm. ah, I don't need a shopping cart. I can just hold right. them all in my hands. And at the end of my time there, I'm always thinking, darn, I should have gotten a shopping cart. The shopping cart in the parking lot. Now, yeah. shopping, uh, the, the grocery stores have been nice enough to give us receptacles to put them into. Yes, but they do. But still, people don't do it. Why don't they do it? Well, a couple of reasons why they wouldn't do it. Uh-huh. Number one, it's too far from their car. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they've got a kid. Okay. They can't leave the kid unattended. Exactly. Of course. Uh, weather's bad. I actually read a survey that as the weather temperature drops, mm-hmm. the less likely people are to return their shopping um, carts. They have a disability. Okay. Which leads to less movement. Fair enough. That's a fair um, reason. Their their perception is it's somebody else's job. Yeah, not my job. Exactly. I'm just going to leave this here. Someone else will pick it up. Uh, they're leaving the cars for someone else to park there and take the cart for to use. Oh. They're being nice. Bull crap. Now, there's there's five categories of cart users. Okay. Number one, the returners. The people they always, always bring it no back. Matter, no matter always, how far right. away the cart return station is, they'll bring it back. The never returners. Okay. There's someone Aldi my job. Who, who, in lieu of getting the quarterback, oh, yeah. will leave it out there. I forget that Aldi's, yes. you need a quarter. The convenience returners, they will return it when they're nearby. Only when they're close enough yes. that it's not too hard. The pressure returners. Okay. Only when somebody's in the parking lot who's watching them. Okay, okay. Then they'll bring but it back. But if no one's there, uh, whatever, I'll just leave this here. The the child-driven returners. Okay. Um, they're the ones that uh, uh, view it as a game okay, so if to your return kids, cars. If they, they, they ride, which I do, they, they ride them back. Yeah, if your kids are old enough, you can use them as child labor. You say, all right, Billy, go put this cart way over there. Apparently, there's a bunch butterfly effect to this because apparently um, we will behave differently if we see others. So if you see others returning them, yeah. then you are more apt to return the cards yourself. Interesting. Yes. So a bit of a chain reaction there. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it may not be just because you're a complete jerk. Yeah. It could be just because you saw somebody else say, Pfft, I don't have to return it. So guess yeah. what? I'm not either. Or how about this? When you turn into a parking spot and you can't pull in all the way because there's a cart right there. Yep. But then your car is parked there so you can't get that cart out of it. Then you're just in a bad mood and then you won't return your cart. More info on the uh, uh, shopping carts. Yeah, the debate continues right now. Yes, FM, Facebook, Twitter at 967 yes FM, and the Mersey Morning page at yesfm.com is more info.